What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are going to be going over all of the information when it comes to the global first Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Is it times 10, times 20? We'll see on the name in just a minute here. But uh, yeah, I know obviously I'm the last person to probably do this out of all the other YouTubers and everything, but I was out, had some Christmas party stuff that I was doing, and came out halfway through it. I'm like, okay, well, I'll talk about when I get back. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, real quickly, I'm just going to quickly play the super attacks and the active skill if you are one of the very few people who has not seen it yet. Okay, I, I feel most people probably have, but real quickly, let's just go ahead and play it for those of you who have not. Okay. Okay, so first off, what I am gonna say, what I am gonna say, what I'm very excited for is that OST. That is some, I like the beat. I like the beat to it and everything. It sounds really cool and everything like that. Um, like most active skills, unfortunately, with the voices, if Japanese or English doesn't really matter. There seems to be a quality thing. So some of them seem to have gone up, but then I think maybe because maybe this card wasn't made, was is not newly made. Maybe it's a few months older or something in terms of being made and everything. Maybe the quality is not the greatest or anything. Not really sure, but hey, it is what it is. So, um, but anyway, let's go and take a look at this card real quick, and then let's just talk about him. Let's, let's talk about him because he initially looking at him, he's actually very impressive. He's a very strong card. In terms of TURs, I'm probably gonna say top three, probably. That's that's my guess at least. Um, I'm sure once the math comes out, and I'm not talking about that overqualified, you know, you know, like oh, we're gonna throw these random support units on here that are, you know, you never actually throw onto a real team or anything. I'm just talking like a general team that you'd use them on. He's probably top three, maybe top five. I'm not really sure. Again, we'll have to wait and see. And then so, but by no means, right then and there, everyone should know right now that hey, this guy is super strong. Is he worth summoning it on? Probably. Although it does depend on what the banner is, because if you missed our podcast today, we streamed our podcast. Uh, usually I stream my, that podcast with uh, Goresh, with Nolar, with Speedy, and we had Truth on there today as a special guest. And uh, <laughs> we all agreed on one thing when it came to this Kyle Ken Blue Goku, and it's that his banner might not be the greatest. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, <laughs> we are making some pretty bad jokes, and you have to remember that both Speedy and Gresh are global mains, and when they're worried about this banner, you know something's up. So, anyway, let's go and take a look at his uh, leader skill and everything like that. I guess we really don't need that. I mean, this is the art, obviously, that the arm is still his arm. <laughs> it's crazy right here, okay? But here's a, his attack, his HP, and defense stats right here. Uh, no, no orbs obviously invested, so just simply SA10, level 120, that's it. Okay, so obviously this guy is a... A TUR, not an LR. Thank God. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what he does, okay? Okay, leader skill. Representative of Universe 7 or the Universal Survival Saga. Key plus 3 stats, or uh, HP 130% and attack and defense of 170, okay? Now, personally, uh, HP 130 and attack and defense of 170 is personally, in this current meta right now, I think is personally the best. Um, obviously, 170 across the board is actually the best, but obviously, one has to give all the time. And I would rather have full attack and full defense over having some extra HP. Um, especially some of these harder events and everything, right? So that right there, perfectly fine. And we already knew about the Universal Survival Saga, him being that that category. I still feel like they forgot about hits though, because they even mentioned it in the video, like, hey, you can run Jiren and Goku together. And it's just like, what about a hit though? Does it hit do that just fine? So it's kind of interesting, right? Um, but anyway, then the representatives of Universe 7. I'm, I, I feel like maybe most people are kind of in the same camp as me. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. And I know some defenders are going to say, well, we don't really have a leader skill for that particular category yet. All we've got is the LR, Goku, and Frieza. And yes, you are correct on that. You absolutely are correct. But here's the thing. You don't need them. You've got Jiren, you've got Hit, and now you have this Goku because of the Universal Survival Saga. Basically, anyone important in the Representatives Universe 7 category is in the Universal Survival, or Representatives Universe 7 category are in the Universal Survival category. So what's the point? There is absolutely no point in having that particular category for this Goku already, right? 
Because, yeah, okay, fine. Seven extra percent on attack and defense with the LR. Woo, that's really not that big of a deal. It really isn't, okay? Um, so I really wish they had given him a different category, whether it be an older category, like the Kamehameha category, or a completely new category. I can tell you right now, not many people that I know personally, both on Global and JP, are happy about that. They were definitely hoping for something else, okay? So, it's a little bit of a yikes on that one, but obviously these cards are not meant to only be used on their category, right? They're, uh, usually most of these cards can be used on their other categories, which is really, really nice, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, passive skill, okay? So passive skill, attack and defense up 59%. By the way, I saw some people asking about this. The whole 59% thing has to deal with the fact that Goku Day here in Japan is 5-9. So May 9th, that's where the 59% comes from. So anyway, so attack and defense up 59%, plus an additional attack and defense up 10% with each attack received, okay? So it's actually, that's actually very, very good. That's that's definitely very good. That is very similar to how the name of Goku works before he transforms. For every attack that you receive, uh, your defense and your attack goes up. So I can tell you right now from personal experience using the name of Goku with no dupes, okay? In something like Super Battle Roads, I'm, I'm going to take you into the hardest events, okay? Because obviously Dokkan Fest events are whatever, right? But in the hardest events, okay, I've taken the name of Goku with no dupes, so just the base 2,000, and he'll get hit first for like, you know, 40,000 or something like that, right? And he'll just keep taking attacks, and that that number can go down significantly. It'll go like 40,000 to 35 to 27 and next thing you know, you're down to 15,000 damage, okay? So I can tell you that from right there from experience. That is very good. That is a very good thing. Yeah, it's going to take a few attacks to see his maxed out stats and everything like that. But that's really cool. That I'm, I'm definitely 100% for that, okay? Obviously, don't throw this guy on Super Battle Road against, like, four AGL opponents. <laughs> don't be that guy. You will die from that still. But nonetheless, that's going to be really, really nice, okay? So attack and up uh, 10% for each time you're hit. For an additional 59%, okay? So that's really nice. Um, and then plus an additional attack up 59% and attacks effective against all types when performing a super attack if your HP is 49% or 59% or less only once, okay? So basically you're going to have, what is that, like 118 or whatever percent, about 118% attack and defense. And if you happen to drop below 59% or below only once, you'll be effective against everything and you'll get an additional 59% attack, okay? So we'll get back to that in a second. Active skill we already knew about. Causes ultimate damage to the enemy and raises allies attack uh, for 30%. Yeah, 30%. And then he uh, just greatly raises attack on every single super attack, which is pretty cool. Okay. And one thing I realized I forgot to open real quick was the actual... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so uh, causes ultimate damage, obviously, to the enemy, like I said before, raises allies attack by 30%. And then the super attack is greatly raises attack and causes as much damage to the enemy. Okay. So, initially looking at this guy, he's very, 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 very similar to the EZA of the AGL Kaioken Goku. Or technically, he's Super Saiyan Blue Goku, just on by name. But we all know he's in his Kaioken state, right? So, that right there is definitely something interesting to look at, okay? Um, and then we already knew about the conditions can be activated when your HP is 59% or below. And then you have to have three or more representative seven uh, representatives of Universe 7 category allies on your team. And obviously you only do it once, you throw the spare bomb, do all that damage, and then the um, the extra attack to your allies is gonna be calculated. It's calculated similar to how B-Pan does it. I just don't know if it will be that particular powerful, or if maybe B-Pan's was is you know, obviously I think B-Pan does increase it a little bit more, it's like 33% or something like that. Um, we'll have to wait and see just exactly how much that does, right? Is it going to be as crazy powerful as LRB pans? Obviously, with the 3% difference. Or is it maybe calculated a little bit differently because he's not an LR? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, right? But we're assuming it's going to be very similar to B pan, right? That, that, that's, you know, I think it's a safe assumption right there. Um, so, yeah, this 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 card's going to be a beast. It's, he's going to be powerful. There's no denying that. The only thing I still have against him. Is that leader skill? Do we really need a third Universal Survival Saga ca category team? And did it really have to be uh, a representative of the Universe 7 category if you're going to give him the Universal Survival Saga team or category as leader skill? There, again, there is no point. Everyone that is required or is important on the representatives of Universe 7 category, they're all on the Universal Survival Saga category. And there's no differentiation uh, between 
those two categories that he when he buffs them. So it's pointless, basically. It really is. It really is. So, yeah, that's just the unfortunate thing right there, right? Now, I can already see it right now. Oh, I guess one last thing to quickly go over real quick. I, I usually skip over these myself, um, unless there's like some huge like, whoa, why doesn't he have this? Or great that he has this. Uh, his links, Godly Power, Warrior God, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Tournament Power, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. Um, so yeah, Easy A, Kaioken, Blue Goku is going to be your best friend, obviously. Um, I knew Tournament of Power would have to take away one of his key links, because unfortunately those cards are, they, they have to get that, right? They unfortunately have to get that link. And while it can be good sometimes, it does mean sacrificing other links as well. Um, so let's take a look at, we don't we can't see every single category that he's on, but we can kind of guess what he should be on right so representative universe 7 obviously is probably his best team uh universal survivor saga is definitely the second best team realm of gods he'll be fine with you throw evolution blue vegeta on there you can throw on the ui goku you can throw on the easy a agl uh super saiyan blue goku the kyle ken one he'll be fine there so you can get his passive still off um but you will need the easy a kyle ken blue goku i don't think he was added into the representative universe 7 category I don't think he was, because he that was from when he fought Hits. Um, if, if I make a mistake, it's popping up above my head right now, okay? Um, so there is that. So uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with this guy. I am very impressed. Just, unfortunately, that leader skill. That leader skill. <laughs> it just, it had, they just, they, they couldn't afford to just be like, you know what? All right, let's make a new category. Or let's give him this category. Unfortunately not. So, uh, Pure Sands, I'm sure he'll be very powerful on as well. Um, again, the, the active skill 59% thing is whatever. Yeah, it's Super Battle Road. You'll be able to get that no problem. You'll get that in the Legendary Goku event, no problem. He'll be fine in Legendary Goku events. Don't you worry. Obviously, throw an item and you'll be good to go in terms of the later stages. Um, Super Battle Road, I think, is probably his best. It's probably going to be the best moment for him. Because Super Battle Road has you attacking a lot. Or them, them attacking a lot, I should say. So you're going to get hit a lot and get that extra defense and attack. You're going to stack his attack and defense every single time you get a super attack off. So definitely additionals. Okay, so I'm taking, I'm thinking 15 additional, 11 critical because he's an STR unit if you got two dupes of him. Um, yeah, that's... He's going to be good. He is definitely going to be good. Obviously, his best attack that you'll ever see from him is going to be from uh, the Legendary Goku event like anything does. Anyone, anyone who stacks attack slash defense, but mostly attack. The best stages is obviously going to be Legendary Goku event, slash maybe one of the infinite Dragon Ball history events, depending on how long you decide to take it. So that's definitely something right there. Um, But yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I am worried about Global's banner, though, because you know they're going to throw the Goku on, obviously. He's the main guy. They'll hopefully have a new SSR. We're hoping. That's what they've been doing quite lately. Then they're going to have Jiren on there. You know Jiren's going to be on there. You know Hit's going to be on there, okay? Because Hit hasn't come back yet. If Hit is not on... Oh, my God. If Hit's not on this banner, that would be freaking ridiculous, okay? Um, then probably Evolution Blue Vegeta. Maybe Super... Or Android 17? Android, I know Android 17 and Evolution Blue Vegeta, are, they're, they're definitely very good cards. They've been on a lot of banners. So I think a lot of people might not like them. Some people still like them back and everything like that. But Jiren... I don't think a lot of people like using him, especially if you got this Goku here. This guy's definitely better than Jiren in terms of the leader skill. Um, and I would personally take two of him over having Jiren. He was, he's definitely going to help with the uh, uh, beating the legendary Goku event with all Universal Survival Saga characters on that. Definitely Goku's going to be better than Jiren is. Because uh, Jiren only gets 130% defense and attack. But this Goku's going to keep stacking attack, which is really, really nice. So he's going to be able to hit hard. Which is definitely better than what Jiren can do. So, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see uh, what's going to happen with this card. So, anyway, guys. That's basically going to be it for the video, though. Let me hear your thoughts down below on this Goku Global. Are you going to summon for him? JP, when he officially comes out for us, which I'm going to guess is April, probably. That's when he came out. That's when uh, Hit came out for us. Around hit, April, give or take. Are you going to summon for him? Is he a skip for you? Are you disappointed in something? What would you change? All that fun stuff. Um, I know someone's going to ask me in terms of, do I think this guy is more powerful than Cooler? Do I think he's better than Cooler? I think probably damage-wise, he's probably stronger than Cooler, because Cooler only increases his attack every turn, whereas this guy greatly increases his attack every turn. But I still would probably put Cooler over him a little bit more, simply because of two reasons. One, he's got the better leader skill, 
because this guy is just a repeat essentially and the representative of universe 7 category leader skill is whatever to me personally and second cooler can be used as a category all right as, as a category support unit and if this game say lasts another two years cooler will be able to continue and build his category uh, with especially with that um transformation boost category and then also the conquest of T uh, terror category as well and he's a support unit for it you know you could have the entire team where cooler is kind of like nothing in terms of the attack and we have people that are doing five to ten million damage no problem but cooler's still gonna be a good support unit whereas this cow can goku he might fade a little bit he's still gonna be super powerful and everything i'm not denying that at all and anyone who says i'm not listen to the video again um but I, i'm not sure I'm, I'm sure in terms of attack true just pure attack power kyle King goku probably is more powerful because again greatly raising your attack every single turn that's nothing to nod at okay um but i could be wrong i don't know in terms of the numbers but i think in terms of an overall unit and what it can bring to the table i think cooler is a better unit personally in my personal opinion right maybe when i officially get this goku in april or whenever it comes to jp then yeah maybe i'll eat my words and be like nope you know what i was completely wrong this goku is way better than cooler I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So, but uh, can we fix that arm? That's all I'm going to say. So. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't been new. Until next time, everyone, I will see you all in the next one.